Today on Step by Jeer, we'll be doing a special experiment. Can you guess what it is? That's right, you guessed it, we'll be making elephant toothpaste. You may have heard of this experiment before, but stay tuned to not only see the experiment, but also learn the science behind elephant toothpaste. Before we get started, please remember to hit the subscribe button. It's the best way to get a notification when a new Step by Jeer video drops. Additionally, if you like this video, feel free to leave a comment down below. And you can also show your support by hitting the like button. And now, elephant toothpaste. To perform this experiment, we are going to need to gather the following materials. Liquid dish soap, one packet of yeast, 3% hydrogen peroxide, warm water, food coloring, con a container such as a flask, safety goggles, a lap apron, two bowls, a pan, and measuring cups. Now, let's get started. Pour a half a cup of hydrogen peroxide into the beaker. If you want, you can add a few drops of food coloring to the flask. For this experiment, we will be adding blue food coloring. Then, pour a tablespoon of this soap into your flask. In a separate bowl, we will mix a packet of yeast with three tablespoons of warm water, and then we'll mix it together. We will need to let the yeast sit in the warm water for about 30 seconds. Then we will pour the yeast into the beaker and let it react. Now let's talk about the science behind this experiment. The elephant toothpaste experiment explores several science concepts. Decomposition, catalysts, surface tension, and heat generation. One of the ingredients in the experiment is something you've probably heard of, hydrogen peroxide. The hydrogen peroxide in our experiment is the same one you may use to treat small cuts and scrapes, usually at a concentration of 3%. Hydrogen peroxide is a chemical compound that is made up of hydrogen and oxygen, and its chemical formula is H2O2. So why does hydrogen peroxide usually come in a brown bottle? It's to keep it from being exposed to heat, light, and other things that can cause it to break down. When hydrogen peroxide breaks down, it slowly forms water, H2O, and oxygen gas, O2. Now, did you know that there is a way to speed up the de decomposition of hydrogen peroxide? You can make the reaction happen faster by using something called a catalyst. A catalyst is a material that speeds up a chemical reaction. Now, how does this all tie together? The yeast that we added in the hydrogen peroxide has a catalyst called catalase, which rapidly speeds up the decomposition of the hydrogen peroxide. Normally, the oxygen gas would form bubbles and escape, but in this experiment, there is an ingredient that prevents the gas from escaping. We added this show, which traps the oxygen gas and created bubbles and foam. So why did this happen? Because of something called surface tension. Surface tension is when a group of water molecules near the surface bond together using cohesion. This bonding essentially creates a layer that traps the bubbles below it and creates foam. Finally, when this reaction happens, it generates heat. In scientific terms, we call this an exothermic reaction. Now you know the science behind the elephant toothpaste experiment. Thanks for joining me in the semi year adventure. Remember, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And give my video a like if you enjoy the content. And also to be sure to check out the links in the video description for some record-breaking elephant toothpaste experiments. Thanks for joining and I'll see you next time.